Hi everybody, uh, Ben from Granberg here. Uh, if you've ever called in to talk to anybody about technical advice, I'm probably the guy you talk to. Uh, today we're gonna do a quick overview of ripping chain, uh, specifically, and this is actually applicable to all chain, uh, how to figure out your pitch, your gauge, and your number of drive lengths. Uh, this is essential information for uh, buying a ripping chain, and it's also good information all around to have. Uh, so we'll just jump right into it. Uh, firstly, the definitions of everything. And we'll start with the pitch. And uh, the pitch is technically the distance between any of these three rivets. So one, two, three, divided by two. Um, this also corresponds to the size of the sprocket on your chainsaw, which is why it's important that you get it right. Um, there's three basic pitches. There is 0.325, 3 8 and 404 and again those just roughly correspond to the size of the links in the chain and the distance between any teeth on your drive sprocket. The gauge is the size of this little tooth right here viewed from the, you know, viewed from the size of the width. It's also correspondingly the size of the groove in your bar right here. Now uh, there's three basic gauges as well there's 050, 058, and 063. Lastly, uh, there's drive links, um, and this cr creates a little bit of confusion as well. On the standard chain, there are two drive links, and that's the ones down here on this side, for every one cutter tooth. So a lot of times people will accidentally cut these cutter tooths and give us a link count that's far too short for an actual chain. So, if you don't have a micrometer or uh, you're not very good at math, don't worry. There's lots of different ways to figure out what you're gonna need. Easiest thing to do uh, for determining pitch and gauge is you actually just look at the drive link itself. Nine times out of 10, there will be a little marker right here on the drive link that'll tell you what kind of chain it is. And you can cross-reference that uh, with uh, some information you can find on our website. This particular chain has a K1 stamped on it. That tells me that this is 325 pitch and 050 gauge. Now, a um, couple of things about why it's important to get the right pitch and gauge. First of all, um, I've got a bar here. Now this bar is designed for 404 chain. And as I just mentioned, this is 325 uh, chain. So if I sit it in here, and try and loop it over the, the, the nose sprocket, you'll be able to see that it doesn't quite ride smoothly over there. And that's because the distance between these points is too great for these drive teeth to, to breach. So that's why it's very important that you get your pitch right. The gauge, as I mentioned, is the size of the groove in the bar. Now this 404 bar is gonna be a gauge of 063. That's extremely common. I don't think I've ever found more than one or two chains in 404 that weren't 063 gauge. And as I said, this is an 050 gauge chain. So what that's gonna mean is the chain will wobble in the groove of your bar. And if the chain can wobble, it can get pulled off course. If it gets pulled off course, you can end up with an uneven cut. So that's important uh, as to the number or the gauge. Moving on to the number of drive links. I mentioned uh, earlier how there's confusion between the cutter teeth and the drive teeth, and it's on the opposite side, so I apologize. Um, but in any case, there's usually two, two drivers for every one cutter. And uh, so, for instance, on this bar, uh, it requires 80 drive links, and I found that information right here. Um, now, if you don't have, or your chain is worn down, this is another good place to look for the information that you need. On, um, for instance, a steel bar, it will look a lot like this. You have here the gauge, you have here the number of drive links, and up there you have the pitch. So, those are the basics of pitch gauge and drive link count. And uh, yes, if you have any other questions, give us a call, 800-233-6499. We're always happy to answer your questions. But for now, uh, signing off and happy milling.